Hello, everybody, and welcome again to another exciting episode of The Push. I'm Dominic Mallon here with my co-host and the owner slash boss slash jefe of Bodyslam.net and all its subsidiaries, Cassidy Haynes. How's it going, buddy? What's up, dude? What's going on? Uh, you know, man, it's a Wednesday night, dude. Got a lot of wrestling in. I'm know. watching uh, – I actually turned off AEW. I was catching up because I, I just got out of class. It was just kind of a long day. So I still have to watch NXT um, three-quarters of the way through AEW. But now I threw on an old school Halloween Havoc 97. And right get now, in the get in the spirit. Ooh, brought to you by Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like we got some NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And you know what? Before we get into why we're here today, which is the draft, the, the WWE, WWE draft. draft. Yeah. Jinx. Oh, that was cute. I think it starts, what, Friday? Is that right? Yeah. I, uh, Tonight, and, and, special event. Hey. And that's why we're up late because we wanted to do our own mock draft and give our, our thoughts on it, on the draft itself. Yeah. And what, what do you think of the draft as a concept? Well, before we get to that, okay. I want everybody I'm putting the card in front of the rabbit or something. Well, this is the... <laughs> putting yeah. the card in front of the horse, baby. Whatever. So, the log is... in front of the jam. As, as you know, we, we are available on all major podcast platforms, but we're also available on YouTube, which is what I YouTube highly. You. That's my favorite favorite method. Because they think. can see that fucking sweet DX shirt you're wearing tonight, man. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's better than my. I was. I thought I was coming out hot with this Nature Boy shirt, but you got me topped. I think. I don't rock this enough, but uh, but I. This I one's can, got his title victories on the back, though. Mine's got the uh, the old school break it down. That's nice. But yeah, if you ever want to know like who Ric Flair, when and where Ric Flair beat Harley Race, I can tell you by looking at the back of my shirt. I like those shirts. They are, that's like a whole line of those, I believe, right? I think so. It's the – it's got – I don't know. Somebody gave this to me. Oh, okay. I yeah. think when I was in uh, when I was in WrestleMania in Dallas for 30 When you were in it? When you were in WrestleMania? Oh, yeah. You don't yeah. remember? I was in the Battle Royale. You have a, you have a small part? <laughs> I was the guy who caught uh, – who caught Shaq's, Shaq when he uh, when he fell out of the ring? Oh man, lucky you! But anyway, I think those shirts were sold in the in the uh, shop there. But any Seems anyway, right. yeah. I'm gonna just jump the gun and show something that I was really excited to to show you today, uh, and bring on and and that gets to my point. Come on to YouTube, watch us on YouTube, so you can see our crazy memorabilia that we put up on the walls. But I also have. From when I was in like second grade, I was in a bowling league with my buddy Joey Heron, and it was a WCW themed bowling league. And at the end of the year or at the end of the season, everybody got one of these. Oh, shit. And you got to pick your own, like, you got to pick like one out of like, I don't know, like five or six wrestlers. And you got the bowling So bag. was this official or is this like bootleg the- WCW? I think it might have been official. Oh, uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I don't see any trademarks anywhere. Did on this WCW show. sponsor this, or is this just some dude in a bowling? Alley? Is this a Marty Janetti esque story? Is this where this is leading? I don't know, dude. But you this... got a good bowling alley story to go with this. Oh, I got a what? NWO. Where'd says, you get that? Uh, I just told you I was in a bowling league in second oh. grade. It was WCW themed, and that was what I got. 99 collector series. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is this legit or is this just like. Dude, the, the fingers are like so small. I can't get. <laughs> I got to just chuck it. Oh, is there a trademark on the ball? Yeah, it was a, it was a trade restricted on the NWO. So then this is legit. That's trademark right, on they, wouldn't to, they wouldn't be able to print that if it wasn't. Too legit. So that's pretty sweet. So I guess that's not. Um, what's what I'm looking for? Not knockoff. Uh, not knockoff. Yeah, not phony. I also have a. Uh, it also came with a, a Hollywood Hulk Hogan bowling shirt, which I believe I still have. Not gonna lie, if I had to choose between listening to your bowling stories or Marty Janetti's, his are better. Uh, I, I I would listen to Marty Janetti's anything stories at this point. That dude's got a lot to say. Well, especially stuff around a bowling alley, because we know what that entailed last time. Man. Let's not get into that. We are here to talk about the future. And the future apparently is perpetually changing with WWE. And we have yet another draft coming up, buddy. Can't wait. I guess it's not 
ridiculous to think Have about. Have we even finished the draft picks from the last draft? Or did they just rush that two weeks ago? Was that what Mandy Rose and all that was like a couple of weeks ago? Like, we better get these previous draft picks and stuff that we traded off out of the way and cram that down. When's the last time we had a legitimate WWE draft? Oh, you're asking the wrong person. I'm not – I am no encyclopedia on that. I think it was at least a year ago. Well, I mean, they tried to do one last year, remember? And then there was they were still doing, like, picks to be named later, and they were making trades and stuff up until, like, yeah, two but weeks I, ago, I think three it, weeks ago. Well, I think it feels like it was not that long ago because they're constantly doing, like, shakeups and stuff like that where people were jumping around. That was terrible. Yeah, but this is the where they're billing it should be a full Wild card draft. Rule. Wow, God. God damn it. Um, so are you a fan of the draft? It sounds like you are. It's something. It's something. It is different. something. It's definitely something. But you know what? I, I also like deep seated rivalries. Like when you think about like The Rock in Austin or Triple H and Mick Foley, Undertaker in Austin, um, it, it's Cena and Batista. Like they. Or not Cena and Batista, Cena and Randy Orton. Um, they always had those a longevity of years together on the same shows where maybe it's it gets redundant over a while, but at the same time, I like the fact that they have those classic rivalries. And whenever they have a draft or a draft just to mix it up and have fresh matchups, it's cool, but then it's everything starting over, and then I feel like they end up getting the – telling the same stories over and over just with different people and it's kind of their way of getting to be lazy and sloppy with creative storytelling but what do you think all that makes sense yeah now they're it's it's definitely a lazy easy out as far as mixing things up but i honestly don't think there should even be like a split i think you should just have just both shows have both everybody on it but that's just me it's whatever I think there should be one champion. Yeah. I, I think the way they do the women's tag title is beautiful. And I think they should do it that way because it adds so much more to each title. And you, you get to have that like big time marketable star. I don't give a shit about the guy killing you. Sorry. What happened? <laughs> Somebody killed Unbelievable. him. Unbelievable. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. Uh, it was me. It was me. I'm coming over. Yeah. But you should. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't think we could say anything else about it that hasn't already been said though. Yeah. You know, so let's get in. I don't like here. it. I really don't like it. No, no. I think it's pointless in general, like having a brand split or just having all recurring drafts. Yeah. It's all tied together. Having the, doing the drafts just a way to keep the brand split fresh, which is, I don't like it, but it's whatever. Right. All right, well, why don't we shake things up a I little mean, bit? I mean, if you're going to do it, you should go all in with it and not have people – I mean, they should be – it should be like its own company and not like, you know, just like a lower-tiered brand, you know, if that makes any sense. No, nah, I'm just going to keep leading into us doing a mock draft and have you just pull away from it. Uh, all right, so what, how are we going to do this mock draft? What's your nah, – I don't, don't even want to do it anymore. No, let's do it. No, I'm, done. I'm done. Let's do it. Let's draft. Let's <laughs> draft, right. bro. Who's so, what? Who's what? Are you well, wrong or are you smacking down? You you got a little nervous beforehand because you didn't know how we were going to structure this. and It really doesn't matter. I don't think anybody – I mean, I think they tune in just to see how we fucking wing it. Where's my belt? Here we go. The $344,000 belt around my shoulder. With this belt, I will be a gentleman. And I'll let you choose Raw or SmackDown. But here's the deal. I think the way that they normally do the draft is like Raw gets three, SmackDown gets two. Mm -hmm. Let's just make it simple, and we'll just go back and forth, one and one. Well, SmackDown leads off the draft Friday night, right? Well, you pick the, you pick the squad, and then – Well, we'll SmackDown is leading out Friday night, so I think whoever has SmackDown gets to pick first because that's how this works, right? Well, we could do we could or maybe do not. I don't know style. how they're doing. It see, this is why this is good radio because we don't know what the fuck we're doing and we're Let's, gonna figure it out on the fly. You wanna be raw or smackdown? I wanna be the blue brand. All right, so you're gonna be smackdown, I'll be raw. You wanna go first or do you wanna pick twice? 
What does that mean? Why would I pick twice? We'll go back and forth, but whoever picks first gets the first overall pick. Whoever picks twice gets two picks in a row, and then from there on act back and forth. Okay. Uh, you can go first. I'll go first? Yeah. Um, Monday night roll, and I'm taking the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, baby. So you're switching belts over then? I'm taking I'm, – yeah, I'm getting it. I'm All right, well, I'll take the other title. belt. Who's got it? Drew McIntyre, I guess. Great. Taking Drew. <laughs> you already hate your team? <laughs> yeah, I already hate my team. But you made the move. You had the, you took the champ from the other one, so I got to take that champ back because you can't take both top belts. That's just fucking bullshit. So now I got to redraft Drew McIntyre. So I'm going to take that. So I got Drew. That's and just I'm gonna good. Give Sammy, I'm going to keep Sammy Zane because I don't want you to Ooh. take Ooh. That's a good call. So now I got those two belts. And now you got to hope I don't steal that U.S. title from you next. I might just take all the belts. Nah, screw that. I'm not it's like, you... like It's like it's a fancy football draft. I'm loading up on running backs. No, 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 no. It doesn't even have anything to do with the title. I'm not letting you take hot Bobby Lashley away from me. Are you, you kidding better me? T- you better pick him. Is that your next pick? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Bobby okay. Lashley. All right, I'll take Stan Hansen next. Is he not on the board? Uh, well, he's on. Oh, wait, no, that's hardly race. <laughs> uh, we're moving quick. Uh, is it my turn? Yo, turn. Can I take – now, what are we doing about groups and teams? One, just one. One person? How about like, this? Remember, like, when they drafted New Day, they all went. You get one tag team where you can use two picks in a row on them. But you only get to pick one tag team. So, but when they went like last year, when they were like, we take the new day, and that didn't count for three picks, that counted as one pick. You can only pick two picks. So, you what can't take to, all what, of how, the new day? Do, so, what are you going to do with the rest of your herb business? What if I just come in and start plucking them? I just got, you can try that. You can do that. That Dude, that's part of the draft. That's part I'm of the draft. I'm asking you. I'm just we're, asking shake, you. we're shaking things up. I'm just asking you how, we're, how much we're shaking it up. I'm not, look, I'm not, I'm not agitated. I'm just cracked out and tired. That's, That's cool. I'm going to go Shayna Baszler next. Nice. You know, I, w- I was going to take a girl with the next pick, too. But you're going with Shayna? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, you can use your tag team pick. I know. You know what? How many picks are we doing? Because we originally said, said – This was you. We originally said 15, but we're moving kind of fast. Do you want to do 20? Sure. Okay. Let's do two tag teams then. You could do two tag team picks. They count as one or they count as two people? They count as two picks, so, but you can take them back to back if you want to. Yeah, I'm going to leave Nia for you to have. You're going to leave it? Okay. Yeah, she can take her. I got one half of the belt, though. I might grab her later. Just tell me when I'm getting close to the bottom. You know who I'm taking? Who are you taking? You're probably taking Alexa Bliss. I'm not. Ooh. Sonia Stavill. Okay. All right. I can take that. You might as well just throw Alexa Bliss on mine now. You taking Alexa? Mm-hmm. Okay. That hurts me. I know. <laughs> it's, that's like me coming in and taking, like, well, I was going to say a good eagle, but in a fantasy football draft, but, like, I don't think there's one this year you want on your team, really. So, that I always, I always want Alshon Jeffrey. And Brandon Graham. Dude, Brandon Graham's having a hell of a year. You, you, Alshon Jeffrey's still on your team? I believe in Alshon Jeffrey. Is he no really? Is he still, still there? Oh yeah, he's still there. He's uh. Is he hurt he, this year? Well, he's he's like practicing again. I don't know if he's going to oh, play this okay. week, but we'll see. Yeah, I doubt. Um. It. Anyway. Anyway, we're in like, round four. We've. Uh, I just took I just took Alexa with my fourth pick. You did. I. I'm taking Seth. Seth Rollins. Okay. I'll take Bray Wyatt. Oh, you're taking Bray. I'm taking Charlotte. I'm just taking a bunch of people that aren't around. Man, she uh she really she I hit on her one time in hot college. She did not like that talking <laughs> mad shit, shot me down. Cause she went to App State. She lived on the same right. dorm, like the floor is my buddy. Mm-hmm. We were leaving the same frat party, and I was like, this is my chance, right? I got to, like, try to hit on Ric Flair's daughter. This is before, like, she was anything, right. you know what I mean? But I just knew who she was. Didn't work out for me at all. What did you say? 
Oh, I don't know. I was drunk as shit. I'm sure it was not. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it was not charming. Oh no, I'm sure it was. I mean, my mind. I was. <laughs> it was nice. Unbelievable. Their reaction was very not friendly, and I was like, "Man, you're a bitch." But you know, I mean, most likely it was just me being a drunk dick. So. It's okay. Anyway, is it my it's pick? The past. My pick. Well, let's let's break it down because we're we're the first five picks. We we've gone through the first five rounds. Monday Night Raw is shaping up with Roman Reigns, Hot Bobby Lashley, Sonya Deville, Seth Rollins, and Charlotte Flair. SmackDown is shaping out with Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn, Shayna Baszler, Alexa Bliss, and Bray Wyatt. Okay. So it would. Wait, be... wait you said Drew McIntyre, right? You said Drew? I, I'd say so I didn't pay attention to his name that much because I don't like Drew McIntyre. I, anyway. <laughs> how do you how do you take him first? You don't even like him. Because I ain't letting you get both belts, man. I'm not letting you take all the titles. Dude, this is your come, f- you're lucky I haven't come in there and started stealing gold out from under you. This is your SmackDown fantasy draft. You can just anoint a champion. You can you can have a tournament mm-hmm. for champions. Mm-hmm. I had to take the title. You stole that. You don't know how this works. If you never watched their draft, they take the champion and then like they've moved belts over. That's how the belts have swapped. That's how the Universal and WWE title of flop brands. I know, but it's been done other ways. It can happen. Anyway, who's picking? and if it and if it hasn't been done, so much the better for us. <sighs> Is it my pick or your pick? It's your pick, okay. sir, boss. So, you got a lot of people out there. I sent you the cheat sheet for you to use if you yeah, want to. Which re- didn't open. It. Did it open? I resent it to you and just oh. copy and paste it in the body of the email so that you could did read you? it. Oh, you did. Hang on. Unbelievable. Uh, sh- what terrible airtime. And while you figure out your old man. Uh, no, no, no. Santos technology. Escobar. I'm stealing. I'm stealing an NXT uh, guy. Santos? Yeah, Escobar? I'm, 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 stealing I'm stealing an NXT um, guy up. Santos Escobar? Yeah. First NXT guy called up to the main roster. Boom. Damn, Cruiserweight champ. Yeah. That. that mm, mm. I'm going running back heavy. That changes. <laughs> <laughs> that changes everything. I, I, uh, it does. You're welcome. I didn't even think of that, and it's it's obviously in the in play. But um, I don't care. I'm I'm still gonna take AJ Styles. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're doing. Um. Hmm. So you went AJ, right? I did. You're you're crafty. You're crafty. Super crafty, man. So, I think what I'm gonna do right here is come out of left field, and wait. Damn it, he's not on. He's not. I can't do Brock because he's not under contract anymore. Nah. So. He's on the I'm clock. Just, I'm just gonna swap it up, mix you up a little bit here, and I'm gonna come out of left field and take Daniel Bryan. Oh, I was gonna take Daniel Bryan too, and I took AJ. I love Daniel Bryan, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got his book behind me here somewhere, if you can see it in the background. Oh, and on the 30th anniversary of Chris Jericho, I am watching Chris Jericho currently in the ring in, uh, like I said, Halloween Havoc 1997. Was he, was that uh, Ultimo Dragon? He's not facing Ultimo uh, Dragon. Dean Malenko. No, no, it's... Uh, Psychosis. Is it Gato? Oh, is, is it G- Jado or Gato? Gato. G- Gato. Gato. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, just turned I on. I looked up and I was like, he did not do a lot of WCW appearances. That's one of his only ones, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What Pretty a good match. Happy anniversary, Le Champion. Anyway. So, All right, so it's it's my pick. It's your pick. And I am going to take a page out of your book. Even though I wanted to take another girl, I'm going to take Adam Cole, baby. Nice. I was going to grab him if you didn't. Baby. But... I think I'm going to beef up my uh, women's division and take the Sasha Banks next. Sasha. Okay. Okay. I like where you're at here, buddy. I don't know if this makes for good radio. It probably could make for good TV, for good podcasting on YouTube. But uh, it's really just us rambling and looking at uh, – looking at, our, That's all our shows are, just us rambling, dude. That's, I know. That's true. Anyway. But we got a lot of good interviews coming up soon. And that's going to be fun. We do. Uh, in fact, we should – one well, we're not going to mention that one that we were talking about today until something okay. gets announced because he wants us to wait for something to get announced over there before he pops up on ours. 
Fair enough. But mm. uh, we have the uh, the rescheduled uh, Thunder Rosa, which I'm just super excited be about. Tomorrow night. Yeah. She just announced that she had to uh, relinquish her. I, I always forget the name. Princess champion. Yeah. Yeah. Joshi International Princess Championship. Look at you, knowing facts. Yeah. Look at me, like I like I like I run a fucking website or something. <laughs> Why you got a curse, man? I don't know. My mom yells at me. I about was gonna it, say too. your mom's listening. No, she's not. She gets about ten minutes into this shit, and then she hears me swear, and she turns. Hi, it Mrs. Off. Haynes. Anyway, <laughs> she's no Sue. Stop saying that, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's a good running. It's, it's an it's, awful thing to say. All right, so. Whose turn is it? It's my turn, and I will really want to take a female with my next pick because I only have two women on my roster right now. I'm not sure who I should go with, though, and it's – and I hate that I have too much airtime. I'm just going to take Bailey. You're going to say Bailey? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to – once I'm going to I'm gonna re-beef up my women's. Again, I'm going to throw something in on this. I'm going to come out of left field and uh, draft another um, NXT lady or mm-hmm. another NXT person to bring a lady up. I want to pull up – which one do I want? Let's go Candice. You on with Candice? I am. Good pick. Candice LeRae. And now it's back to me. Ow, ow, ow. It's too late to be up. <laughs> All right. I'm going what? back to the men. And I am going with – I'm going with Angelade. Ooh. Nice. Angelade. I like it. I like it. So it's me again, right? What number are we on? Oh, we are. Well, we're at ten, so we'll do one more. Pick this is my we'll tenth her, pick. We'll give a rundown. Yep. This is my tenth pick. Okay, so with number ten, let's. You know what we're gonna do here? No, don't do it. Don't oh, do you, it. You don't think? Don't do it. Uh, man, I'm thinking real hard about it. Don't do it. Should I not? Don't do it. I was going to take our truth, but you said don't do it. So oh, No, no, no. You can do it. No, go I'm just it. kidding. <laughs> kidding. Uh, I'm going to go um, Gargano. Okay. I don't know. What were you thinking? I had a bad feeling you were going to take who I'm going to take next. I'll take it. But I like that you kept the marriage together. Yeah. It was very... I, like, I like their booking because I want to keep them together because I like that storyline. It was very anti-WWE of you to keep a married couple together on the roster. Yeah, I know. That was I very. Just, that's one of the only things that I, they've done storytelling wise lately that I, I I can appreciate and, and approve of. I like what they're doing with those two. I'm proud of you, man. You know what? That's uh, it was very benevolent of you. And and looking back on our roster now, I uh, I realized I did the same thing. I took Andrade and I took Charlotte. So look at us. You look at us. We're just look, look at us. Who would who would have thunk it? Look at us now. Look at who us. Who would have thought? <laughs> just keeping the sanctity of marriage together. I love it. You've seen that episode of Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd on Hot Ones, right? I said it to you when we got the FTR interview. Yeah. <laughs> or when you got the FTR did you know that, interview. Did you know that shit's been pulled off YouTube? Well, that's why. I think it's because they're showing some of their classic episode interviews or interview episodes after the TV show that's like the game show. So they've pulled like, like some of the ones off because like it's not there anymore. You go look and it's not there. You can find people's reactions to it and shit. And then if you go to like start searching the internet, Reddit tells you all about it. Wait, are you talking about the whole episode? Or are yeah. you talking Oh, I thought you just meant that like clip. I sent you like the six second clip of that. No, nah, the whole episode's it. off the YouTube, bro. Right? Well, that makes sense. That's probably just the licensing thing because No, Tom- they own the show, but they're trying to show some of their stuff after the TV show to like get Oh, they I don't gotcha. want it. They don't want it on YouTube if it's going to be on the TV show. That way, you have to tune in and what? Eh, bullshit. No. Anyway, we're not talking about wrestling right now. We're talking about chicken wings, and that's awesome. Wait, uh, my pick or your pick? Damn, now I kind of want some wings. It's my pick. Me too, and it's late. As anyway. soon as you said that, I was like, "Damn, I haven't eaten in like nine hours. I got to eat something." <laughs> yeah. Um, I've just been going all day. This is the first time I really got to sit down. Um. And you know what? I had somebody in my head too, and now it just popped out of my head. I, uh, you got to put me on the clock. Give me the countdown. Oh yeah, I'm taking MVP. I was I was gonna do that, but I feel I leave you having it. When you when I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it to you. I was good. I was throwing you one. When you took Gargano, 
And I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. I, I, too, I knew. I thought you were going to take. <laughs> let's, um, uh, let's run down our six through ten. Okay. Raw has AJ Styles, Adam Cole, Bay Bay, maybe for a Bullet Club reunion. Who knows? No, because I said it's trademarked by somebody else, brother. Well, a – whatever. Uh, <laughs> Bailey, Andrade, and MVP joining Hot Bobby Lashley to reunite the Bullet er, – hmm, on the brain. Mm-hmm. The something her business. Um, and then over on SmackDown, we have Santos Escobar mixed with Daniel Bryan, Sasha Banks, Candice LeRae, and Johnny Gargano. And it's, uh, it's back to you, bro, Chacho. Back to me. Mm-hmm. And this is pick 11? Pick 11. I'm going to steal something from you with pick 11. This is, this is, I can't believe this guy fell this far. We talked about him today, Mr. B12 shot. Let's go Braun Strowman. Okay. Yeah, how about that, dude? That's not my steroid needle. That's a B12 shot needle. Is that what he said? Yeah, he said it was for his B12 shot. All right. Because I'm B12. I got a vitamin deficiency. Roar, country strong. That sucks. I don't know if he does, but. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna assume that he does. I'm not gonna. He said so. So that's what it is. I don't know. Hey, take who you, I'm anybody, anybody. Taking next to. Well, at least I'm you're gonna sing it out. Taking it out. next, I'm gonna sing it out for you. Five, four. Count you down. Three. Did you pretend to freeze? <laughs> Carmella. I'm taking Carmella. Carmella, new Carmella? Okay. I'm taking Carmella in any iteration okay. of her. I don't really One like where the, it's going. Dude, you know what I love about Carmella is that what? the internet, there's so many people that talk shit, like, she's ugly. And it's like, dude, if you saw that girl in real life, I know, right? like, you're never going to get anything near that in real life. Like, just fucking keep your stupid opinion to yourself and go back to your mom's basement. And like, of. <laughs> So I've watched, and I'm that not talk to you. They would fucking nut their butt, you know. Whatever. I'm I'm not mm-hmm. hating on it at all. Uh, I've only watched a f- like a handful of episodes of Total Divas. Um, not like oh, I don't watch Total Divas. Like if it's on, sure, I'll watch it. You and my mom can talk about that when you interview her. She loves that show. Well, that that's the thing. But like I'm not. I've I've only seen a handful of episodes, but she's been on a few of them that I have seen, and I don't know how real they really are as far as when the camera's on there for that show, but she just seems so genuinely like chill. You know what I mean? Well, I got some planned here. You know what I'm doing? Is it what? my pick? It's my pick, right? Wait, can we keep talking about Carmela? Cause I love Carmela. Can, but it's my pick, right? Yeah, it is. But before we get to it, I loved her SmackDown women's title run when she was, when she had it with the ladder match and then she won it back I would love to see her just being that princess of Staten Island, doing her, but with the title around her cool. waist again. Guess what? Who are you taking? Randy Orton. Yeah, I know you were going to take him. Yeah. I was like, how is he still sitting here looking at me? I'll take him. I was going to take him when I took Carmella, but last yeah, second came but down to it. You didn't. I don't, I don't need him. You don't. I do. Yeah, you do. You need some... I need a real superstar. There's there's no real superstars in WWE left except Randy Orton and the man that I'm taking with my next pick if you don't take him. I'm not going to because I will – oh, I'm taking Kevin Owens. Cool. I'm taking John Cena. Okay. Yeah. Don't roll your eyes at me, bitch. I'm not rolling my eyes. I I seen it. I seen it with my eyes. I saw your eyebrows raise and you roll your eyes. Randy Orton and John Cena. I love it. Yeah, yeah, star power, brother. I'm not, dude. I'm not hating on it. We, and whatever you, you build s- up your own stars, psh, please. That works for <laughs> WWE so well. Like we're gonna do anything with this roster. No, not at all. <laughs> we're gonna forget about it by tomorrow. What? Uh, but whatever you're seeing in my eyes is probably just the fact that it's 12:30 and I still have work to do. So. Cafe, bro. It's not that time. Cafe, anyway. bro. Cafe, cafe. Yeah. Uh, I'm your taking. Turn. I'm taking uh, Mickey James. The, the Jets fans everywhere are booing you now. Like, it's just a jet strap. Boo! What? You see people throwing their hands up. She How are you going to take Mickey James? She earned it. 
Who who would you take? What what female? Oh, How about right. anybody? How about like actually Otzi or uh, Chelsea Green? Take you take, like... take 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 somebody because I know who I'm taking when it comes down around. So this is my sleeper. Really? Okay. Well, I'm gonna take Karrion Cross. Okay. I'm taking Lacey Evans. You can have her. You know what? what I'm gonna take? Yeah. You know what I'm gonna take next? You ready for this? Mm-hmm. Give me Ronda Rousey. Ooh. I want all the star power, star power, bro. You better hope these people show up for business, though. But they're on my roster. They're showing up for business. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> There's I'm no... coming. I, I want the workhorses. Yeah. I want. I want to take another female, but I, I need more more guys at this point. I'm gonna take. Phrasing. <laughs> I need a whole lot of beefcake, bro. Just a whole lot of dudes. Uh, All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a page out of your book, and I'm going to take Samoa Joe from you. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Is that what you're doing? You took Samoa Joe from me. You said, I did no. it, so it's done. So that's what you really have done here? Joe right, me, versus, Joe versus me, Roman Reigns for the Shinsuke. ultimate Samoan. Take him. Oh, wait. Well, you can take Shinsuke. Okay. Yeah, I can. I'm not saying and, you can't. And I can take Sh- uh, Cesaro with my next pick because I'm going to tag yes, team can. up and keep them together. So put those back to back. I totally forgot. I mean, what pick would that. that be for me? That would be 16 and 17. Okay. So now so. you get to go twice, right? Uh, no. No. So you go and then I'm taking Cesaro, right. then you go again. So But I still have – yeah, okay. I still have my tag team. So, go. Uh, but we'll uh, – well, you know, let's just do the last 10. Let's go. Nobody, nobody needs to – we don't need to run down five in a row. I am going to do myself a favor, and I'm bringing the Hurt Business home. I'm taking Cedric Alexander, and I'm taking – oh, my God. Who am I blanking on? Ricochet. No. Ricochet. What is no, it? not Ricochet. No, the other one. The other one. Um, Cedric Alexander. Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley, Bobby Lashley, MVP, Cedric Alexander. Oh, Sheldon Benjamin. Jeez, yeah, man. come on, unbelievable. Man. Orange, Orangeburg, Georgia, or South Carolina, my man. I love Sheldon Benjamin. I can't believe I was blanking on him. And if he's listening, because I know he's a big fan of the show, big listener big of the he's show, a big fan. I uh, I do apologize. It's not it's nothing against you. It's just the uh, just the time. It's late, baby. So it's my turn, right? Mm-hmm. How mad are you that I have the hurt business? Pretty mad, but I do have John Cena and Randy Orton, so. True. Uh, let's see. I'm going to slide in right here. I'm going to take, slide. I'm gonna take uh, Shotzi Blackheart. Shotzi. Shotsy Blackheart with all that airtime. We got so much airtime. Well, we're trying to figure out our picks. All right. So it's back to me, mm-hmm. and I'm taking my girl, Peyton Royce. Okay, nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double down and go back to back with another to tag to team it up. I'm going to take Marina Shafir and Jessamine Duke, and I'm going to have the fucking four horsewomen on my roster. I forgot that we were uh... – I forgot we were doing two tag teams, but it doesn't matter because that's your 19 and 20. Mm-hmm. So I am just taking two, but I'm bringing Billy Kay back to reunite the Iconics. Iconic. I like it. Everybody's going to like it, dude. They should have never been broken up. It's It was a travesty. And then I get Mr. or Mrs. or Miss Irrelevant as the last pick in the draft. Who shall it be? Let me see what the breakdown is, men to women. Should I pick a guy or a girl? I got a specific you guy. You take our truth. Add him to the hurt business. He's too good. He should be. He should be floating around both shows. You don't want the twenty four seven title on your roster. I think that's. I think the twenty four seven title is bigger than either show. I think it should uh, be on both. That is the our truth of uh, memorial title, right? Screw it. Mr. Irrelevant, 
I'm taking the NXT title and Finn Balor. Oh, look at you calling him back up. And this time we do it right. <laughs> oh man, interesting. So let's give it a, a nice quick rundown. Of All right, I mean, I want to hear your your twenty. My twenty. I have and everybody that we didn't take stays where they're at, right? Or is that how it goes? So we still have the regular roster, or is that just the only twenty we have total? Whoever whoever wasn't picked is fired. Ooh, they're just they're gone. They're fired. They're nah, cut. They're not fired. They're still floating around. The cut. What, what, they're enhancement we're talent. not doing anything with these. They're with now this enhancement trend. talent. They're it's working like, dark. They're working dark. Okay. So I have Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley, Sonya Deville, Seth Rollins, Charlotte Flair, AJ Styles, Adam Cole, Bailey. Bebe. I was going to say, I have Adam Cole, Bebe. I also have Bailey. You have Adam Cole, Bailey? <laughs> I do have Adam Cole, Bailey. Um, okay. Angelare, MVP, Carmella. Kevin Owens, Mickey James, Lacey Evans, Samoa Joe, Shelton Benjamin, Cedric Alexander, Peyton Royce, Billy Kay, and Finn Balor. That's cool. That's cool. B team style, but that's cool. Don't let's go to, the, let's I, go to the real. Let's go to the real shows roster right now. I let's picked. Hear with, it. I picked with my heart, and I picked the workhorses. So yeah, I picked for ratings. Yeah, you didn't. You. I you, see the green. I see dollar signs, and I know how to put a top shelf program on. That's not true. You put me on this podcast with you as your co-host. What are you talking about? You don't know what hey you're man. doing. Hey, man, we're growing fast. <laughs> it's that magic grow mix. You seen that it's, commercial? Uh, it's that Blue Chew. Bro, we need to get them on a sponsor. So Blue Chew, they're huge fans, so they need to get the sponsors on us. Yeah, That's true. Put them they over. Keep, My dick's hard just thinking about it. They keep sliding in the DM. I, I got to respond to them. We'll slide back into theirs. Holla. So... You want to hear your SmackDown roster? Yeah, dude. Tell everybody, tell everybody what the real show is going to be. You have Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn, Shayna Baszler, Alexa mm. Bliss, Solid. and her new man, Bray Wyatt. Oh, God damn it. That's a championship roster right there. You have we're Santos. Gonna win the, we're going to win the trophy this year. Santos. Santos Escobar. Yeah. We're Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, Sasha Banks, Candice LeRae, Johnny Gargano, Braun Strowman, Randy Orton, John Cena, Karrion Cross, Orlando Lousy. I love that. That's a sexy Sh- roster, bro. Shinsuke Nakamura, Cesaro, <sighs> Shatsy Blackheart, Marina Shafir, and Jasmine, Yasmine Duke. Dude, I don't even need Blue Chew to get my dick hard over that roster. Whoa there. You know what Whoa I'm saying? Whoa there, my You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That is me too. This podcast. All I need is this three hundred and seventy-five hundred thousand dollar title, and that's really all I need to keep me happy. I still got my uh, my last place title right here. Oh, it's cute. It's like a consolation prize, like a Miss Congeniality it trophy. It is. It is. I can, nice. I'm gonna wear it around. My, I'm gonna get like a chain and wear it around my neck. You should. You should. Or wear it like as a little ring. I tried to – my wrist, my wrists are almost uh, tiny enough. Oh, you got to, some tiny little dainty wrists. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, almost, but not quite. It gets like three-quarters of the way around it. That's cute. That's like uh, – it's, like, uh, it's like Shaza in, in the interview we did with her when she was talking about the, the ring that uh, her husband got her with the, the little Divas title. That could be like your own little Divas title. You can wear it around your finger, and it'll be a constant little reminder of, of what you're what, chasing. What could have been. Day. Yeah. Coming after the title, baby. Yeah, I do know that this is the John Cena spinner replica, too, for everybody. If you can, if you can see, kind of see. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know what, I don't know who was wearing that, which one of these figures was actually wearing that title, but whatever. <laughs> seems seems kind of like, seems kind of messed up, like looking back on it now, if it's anybody but John Cena. Yeah, Edge like, had it for a little bit. Like, yeah, I know, but like, even Edge, he changed it at one point and had the rated R superstar spinner. Yeah. But like when uh, like JBL was facing him, or right, yeah, I was like, huh, that's it's odd. Like JBL with the spinner title. <laughs> RVD had it too, and it's like that's mm. right. He's like, I'm gonna garbage this, bring back the ECW title. So that happened anyway. So we just made a draft happen. What do we think is really gonna happen though? Do you think there's gonna be any big shakeups in the actual draft? 
I'm wondering who's going to come back after a while because we've had a few people that have been on the shelf for a long time. I think we're going to see Xavier Woods back, and I'm worried that we're going to see a forced breakup of the New Day without them technically breaking up, just seeing them split so that you're going to see two of them go one way. You'll see New Day all over overall brands. They're going to keep it as the New Day, but they're just going to brand them out and have them on both shows is what will happen. But I'm worried that it'll be the kind of thing where they'll be they'll stay the new day for like promo stuff that WWE needs them to do, but it'll be their way of pushing Big E on his own without the new day around them. And I don't think they need to do that. I don't understand why they, they need to ruin a good thing. Nobody wants to see the new day break up because they can't keep anybody together without splitting them up because that's just what we do up here, bro. Apparently another uh, another tag team is is going to be breaking up soon. Although they were Garza playing. and Andrade because of the injury, but well, spoiler, bruh. But yeah, I mean that, they've kind of been planting the seeds for that for a while. Um, it didn't look like it was going that way prior. No, to I think they changed their mind and were going to keep them together, and then he got hurt, and they're like, ah, oh, fuck it. But the story that they that WWE had been telling for a few months was that they were, you know, they were bickering, and that's why Zelina left was she got tired of their bickering. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. I with- would love to see like Ronda get drafted back, and that is her comeback because yeah. she's been very active on Twitter lately. I would love that. I miss and Ronda. She just talked about when she's on. I mean, like we had a story today about her contract coming out, like how long she's left on. She's in a contract to what April twenty twenty one. Uh, six months or something. Uh, has it been? Well, she signed. Uh, didn't she sign a two-year deal initially? Yeah, she's got till April of 2021. But her first year, she was in was in New Orleans, so she so it's a would have resigned. Deal. Well, okay, maybe okay. They do three years now. Mm. They try to lock you in for five, but I think three years is the most now than usual. But I could be wrong. But I did see today it was like April 2021 when her contract expires. So she got like six more months. But that would be nice to maybe – a good way to bring her back is just surprise. She's drafted. She's coming back. And then there's no real – then you don't – you lose this surprise effect. But there's fan, no fans, so it doesn't really – you don't really have that pop anyway. So it doesn't really matter. You don't have to, you don't have to do that, you know. Right. That's true. Yeah, I mean, that's it's the best that you can do with what you have. You know what I mean? It's It's not – you still, you're, you're not going to get that organic surprise huge pop feel that you get for somebody coming back and making a return like that so right. why not just do it that way you know yeah but you can't just hold off all surprises indefinitely for the millions watching on tv so you're right it would be a good i mean obviously it would be good for all the fans because it's all what fans want to want ronda rousey back uh, I, I hope that they could sign her to a long-term deal and she's the kind of person that even if she's not in the ring she's just a continued presence in WWE, even if it's like coming on and doing pre-show stuff or, you know, doing stuff on the network, Um, anything. I I just love that WWE brought her in and that she took to it like a fish in water. Yeah, she definitely like was a natural, very Ken Shamrock, lady, female Ken Shamrock-esque. It's cool. I was technically at her first match when, uh, because her first match was WrestleMania. Well, her her. I mean, I think she has Triple H the, her and uh, somebody her and Kurt Angle. Yeah, Kurt Angle wrestled Triple H and Stephanie, right? Yep. So I was there for that, which is pretty cool. That's, that's cool. And uh, I was there to see her drop the title to Becky at uh, WrestleMania last year. Well, two years ago. Yeah. Well, they announced today that we might get we're back to full capacity in Florida. So. Yeah, but as much as I would love to go to a, a full WrestleMania. I don't think I'm going anywhere like that until there's a widely dispersed and easily accessible vaccine for COVID. But that's just me. I don't know. That's yeah. that's everybody's different and I'm sure they'll I, I'm sure that if travel restrictions are lifted especially and they're letting people in internationally, which I doubt will happen, but even domestically, I bet you they could probably get like half a stadium easy probably uh, dude there's enough dumb people in the world to fill a stadium of course you know actually yeah at this point there's probably enough people that are just tired starved of being... and starved for it man yeah like fuck That's it true. i don't care about the covid i'll be there brr. do it down in the studio you know how many people are in florida florida is like a hotbed of ignorance 
no offense to Florida people, but like I was gonna say, I don't want to piss anybody off, but I can't disagree dude, with you. Florida, <laughs> I mean, like they're gonna be like, "Hey, that's bull." Well, he's not wrong. Fuck. Yeah. You know, they can get mad for like all of ten seconds, and then they'll like, "Oh, what's that over there?" And then they'll forget about it. And but no, like I have a friend from Florida, so I can say this. Is that how it works? <laughs> 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 that how that works? It's like that's never how it works. Are, if you are one, you can say it. That is absolutely never how it works. <laughs> I'm here to I tell believe, you. I believe if you are one, you can say it, or if you know somebody, you can kind of do it too. Right? This this show's getting more off the rails than we're. Yeah, dude, I'm we're, we're stepping into muddy water. I don't know. We can't. See you it. are. <laughs> I might what be. I, step, do. I might be. I, do. I might be dragging you down by, with me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Down with me. What's that cancel culture up to? Just get him distracted on Joey Ryan. Fuck it. He's a lot worse than me. Hey, let's let's discuss this on the air before we before we depart because I, I want to get audience feedback if we can. If there's anybody that hasn't tuned out at this point in the episode, uh, we want to do a watch along soon. And Ooh, I yeah, am we're gonna do that real soon. I'm very interested in what That's a this what, weekend plan. We're gonna record that this weekend, aren't we? Well, I'm very interested in, in what your options would be on the table. Well, I mean, let's do it this way. We're in the month of October. Mm-hmm. So our options are Halloween Havoc mm-hmm. or do we want to do Hell in the Cell? Well, if we're doing Hell in a Cell, are we doing a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view or are we doing just like a Hell in a Cell match? Like a pay-per-view probably rather do something old school than new school let's honestly. do a havoc so let's do we're gonna do halloween havoc then let's do how about this let's do let's let's 89 leave it. through 2000 i was gonna say let's let's uh let's confer or let's settle on halloween havoc but let's leave it open to anybody that follows us on instagram or we'll twitter a, we'll or run facebook a twittering. we'll run a twittering contest and we'll see what people suggest for the next couple of days this will be a tweet that'll be coming out look for it and where can you find us on that twitter gimmick dom well if you're already watching us on youtube then you would be able to see both of our twitter handles yes. right there in front of you on the screen Somewhere. uh you, here. If you're if you're listening to us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts or any of those other uh, platforms, yeah. then you can find us on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Dom D O M underscore Malin M A L L O N. You could also find Cass at Cass Hore C A S S H O O O L E. And don't forget to follow the the Big Kahuna Body Slam Net. And you could also find us, the podcast, on Twitter at body slam underscore pod. That's the important one. We need to get it. If you guys are listening to us, you should be following us on these platforms. Come on. It's the least you can do. We need to make our stats look good. It's all about appearances here. Right? But uh pad our stats. But yeah, we uh um, yeah, pick a how and have it for us out. Let's just let this the most votes goes. Or we can do a couple of these and like if you know, people pick their their favorites and we'll do one a week or something. Maybe. We can even narrow it down to like four or five and put it on a poll. Or just do Halloween Havoc on a poll poll. We could do like I mean we've got how many weeks till Halloween here? Four. Yeah. We can bust four of these out. We got time, right? You got time, dude. Don't sign no, don't. me up for shit I can't do. You don't want to treat the fans to four watch-alongs of Halloween Havoc? I don't, I don't want to fail out of law school, man. You got. Oh, I need you. I need you to not fail out of law school. I <laughs> All am, right. Well, then let's temper. I'm going to be your biggest customer, remember? Let's temper our expectations a little All bit. All right. So we're going to do at least at least one watch-along. Let's get the first one out of the way. All right. And then so we're, we're going to do that. Halloween Havoc and 89 through 2000. Let's let the fans, or we're going to call them fans. Let's let these people there. Still, we'll do it for the if, people. If anybody is around right now, let them decide what we're going to do. Everything we do, we do it for the people. We do. We have some fans. I've had some DMs from some people that have really, have, uh, uh, yeah? really, really like our stuff. Yeah, no. I've, you got people awesome, sliding man. in the DM? Yeah, dude. I was shocked. I love it, man. Even um, we're despite getting some all good us? Feedback. Yeah, despite all your shit, man. We're still getting some good <laughs> feedback. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. That's yeah. good to hear. Yeah, right and despite my – crass and uh horrible you, get, you giving me the language. finger bro no i have something in my eyeball man i just i scratch my middle finger style i don't know why yeah do that that's good for viewership <sighs> it hurts man what's in there right now <laughs> <laughs> all right we're what getting that? out of here let's cut it out with our uh, award-winning outro ladies and gentlemen Send it to the internet
We are the podcast. 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 Podcast.